Here we're going to demonstrate how to build a QSAR model of measured data and then use this model to guide compound design. In this example we have a set of PKI data from screening against target X, the therapeutic target for this project. We will use the Stardrop Auto Modeler to build a QSAR model to predict this activity. Here we can see a list of previously run modeling sessions which we can revisit at any time. Clicking here begins a new modeling session. First we will give the model a name for future reference. Continuous or category models can be built. In this case we will create a continuous model that will produce a numerical prediction of the affinity. The full data set will be split into three sets training, validation and test. This can be done automatically or expert users can specify their own splits. The default parameters for the automatic set splitting can be changed here. In a similar way the parameters for pre-filtering descriptors can also be changed. Stardrop provides a library of 1D, 2D and whole molecule descriptors However, users can also specify their own as imported data or as SMARTS definitions. The Auto Modeler will automatically apply a range of techniques to each modeling problem and select the best. Partial Least Squares, or PLS, is a robust technique for building linear models. Radial Basis Functions are a proprietary technique for nonlinear modeling. Gaussian Processes is an advanced machine learning technique for building non-linear models. A variety of Gaussian process based techniques are available but in this demonstration we will just use a couple of them. When the modeling session begins its progress is displayed here. When the session is complete the best model is highlighted. Selecting the session displays a table of results for the models. Results for the validation and test sets can be displayed to compare model performance. Selecting an individual model displays a graph illustrating its performance. Models can be saved for future use and shared with other users. Once saved, the new model appears in the list of available models within Stardrop. We will now load a new compound set for which affinity data have been generated to test the model. The experimentally measured affinity is in this column. The new model is now available in the Models tab and can be run like all the others. We can compare the experimental and predicted affinity data using the visualization tools. Here we can see an excellent correlation indicating that the model is performing well for the new chemistry. Stardrop's probabilistic scoring allows multiple compound properties to be integrated to prioritize compounds. A scoring profile defining the project's requirements and their relative importances can be created, saved and edited. In this case we are using a scoring profile for an orally bioavailable potent molecule for a non-CNS target. This includes the predicted potency against target X. The scores generated are an estimate of each compound's likelihood of success against the project's criteria. Sorting by the score identifies the best compounds in this set. This compound has the best balance of properties but has a relatively low affinity for target X as indicated by the bright green bar. Conversely, the compound in row 3 has a much better target X affinity but a low chance of success due to a poor balance of ADME properties. The compound in row 2 looks interesting as it has the best balance of ADME properties but poor potency. So we're going to take a closer look at this compound. Selecting the predicted target X affinity property activates Stardrop's glowing molecule feature. A red glow indicates a region that has significant positive influence on the property 
in this case affinity for target X. Looking at rows 1, 3 and 6, we can see that a parasubstituted phenyl contributes positively to the predicted affinity for target X. We can test the effect of a similar substitution on the molecule in row 2. As the molecule is edited, all of the ADMIQSAR predictions and scores are updated in real time so that the effects of these changes can be monitored. We can see that the new analogue is predicted to have a significantly higher affinity while retaining a good balance of ADMI properties. The new analogue can now be added to the dataset for comparison with the other molecules. We can see that it is predicted to have a significantly higher chance of success than our previous best molecule. In summary, we have built a QSAR model of target activity and used this, combined with Stardrop's glowing molecule visualization, to guide the design of a new compound predicted to have a better balance of potency and ADME properties.